Cool, so we're going to just jump straight into it. As you heard, we are from Soweto. This is where we are from, a big township in South Africa, um, synonymously known for the above images that will come up now. Yeah, so most of the people who know of Soweto only know the negative connotations of it. And we grew up there, and every image that you will Google on, on the internet will show you starvation, will show you poverty, June 16, uprising, violence, crime, and all of those things. But we grew up there. Those things are there, but they're not the highlight of our Soweto. You know? And uh, we took it upon ourselves to rebrand this Soweto we are from. Because everywhere we went, people would say, have you seen a dead body? Have you seen a, uh, a, a poor kid? Did you eat last night? Or all those type of things. <laughs> and looking at us, uh, I think we are not poor. You know, you, we are not... Uh, <laughs> we are not poor. Uh, we may not have... We may not have um, digital toys at the age of those kids, but the toys that we had, we feel like we're better. And the way we grew up made us more creative because we had to solve a lot of things creatively. Like not having a PlayStation and having a brick car made us imagine the world much better, you know? And making a kite, um, all the toys that you create yourself kind of made us be creative as we are. So we were faced with a problem. How do we change the negative perception of Soweto? Hey, that was a tough one. But Innocent went to Kenya. When he went to Kenya, he sent us this image. Uh, it was me and our business partner at the time. And he sent this image and he's like, guys, can you believe this is in Kenya? I'm like, no ways. Why is this guy so cool in Kenya? Because we, we, we've been shown the wrong side of Kenya. They were showing us all the things that we were complaining about Soweto. They were showing us the same thing about Kenya, about Nigeria, about the whole of Africa. Then we realized, oh, we are also damaged because we think all of the African countries are what they tell us. It's what the media tells us. Yeah. So we're like, how do we solve this creatively? And then I see a different you was born. So we realized that it's important to tell your own story. So we started telling our own stories because if you don't tell your own story, someone else will, and you're not going to like it. We then uh, realized that we need to show the world our upbringing. We don't want the world to feel sorry for us. You know, we are not feeling sorry for ourselves. We are proud of who we are. We are proud of the upbringing. We are proud of everything that we have around Soweto, around everywhere in the world. As Africans, we wanted to show the world that, hey, listen, we are cool, you know, we help you, we don't need any sympathy. Actually, you need to see how we live, how we pride ourselves. You need to see the creativity that we have, the, the fashion, the style, the, the landscape, the textures around the grunge that people think Soweto is. And we wanted to spin it around and show the beauty of where we're from and show the world that as we are, we are cool, we are talented, you know. So what we did is we went to infamous places that are known for crime. And then we went, like this picture here, this is a place in Shawela, it's known for high crime. And we just went there with our car, we just parked there, we never stopped the environment. We let people walk and do as they please, and then we just be in the space and show people that this is the space where you say there is crime. There is no crime in this. When you see this, you see a beautiful image, and you just see life and people just doing, going about their days, you know, and that's, that's what we wanted to make sure comes out in the images. They should tell you a story without us telling you what we are showing you. When you see this, you don't just think crime. You see a beautiful picture. When you see this, this is in Ghana. You know, you see this guy. We saw this guy walking in Ghana. And like, my man, you look so stylish. Where are you going? <laughs> and then we asked him nicely. Obviously, we had to pay him. But, you know, we asked him nicely to pose for us. And then we put him in the middle of a, a, a busy street. And then we just shot him. You know, when people overseas see this, they don't believe it, you know. And then we realize in, in most things and, and uh, in the world that we are living in that there's negative and positive in everything, you know, but we choose to see the positive. There's enough negativity that's been portrayed in the media. There's enough negativity on the internet, but we wanted to populate the internet with beautiful stories, you know, with fashion, with beautiful landscape, how we can change people's perceptions of all these places that are seen as 
poor or dangerous. So from Soweto, we got invited to do the same thing, to tell a different Senegal. You know? We went to Lesotho, because people in Lesotho are like, yo, come to Lesotho and tell a different Lesotho. And when we get there, we, we want to be part of the culture. We'd rather see Lesotho through the eyes of a local, not come through as a tourist, you know? We want to be with the, with, with the people that live there, understand the style, what they eat, how they uh, feel, and how they want to represent their Lesotho or their Ghana or their uh, any, any other place there. Yeah. Tanzania, we also went there to tell a different Tanzania. And then Nigeria, you know, it's like, we used to have, like, we used to think so negative about Nigeria, in fact, like, because everywhere they tell us that Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that. And when, 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 we, when we went to Nigeria, we didn't believe that Nigeria is such a beautiful country. The people there are so amazing. Yeah. And, and we had, Japan was our favorite country. We're like, you know, out of everywhere, Japan is our favorite country. And we went to Nigeria and we're like, I never. Nigeria, Nigeria is, is the best <laughs> country. Uh, through, through telling all these stories, we realized that there was a gap in the market of advertising. We have an advertising background. And the world needed to see more of what we're showing because we were being disruptive. We were changing the perception of what people see of this world of ours. Uh, we, we then got invited to Oslo to represent uh, the youth of South Africa and understand the youth there and change through dialogue. Um, the gap was in the industry that um, in most advertising stuff that you see, uh, in banks, in uh, any kind of imagery that you see in advertising, the people would be not represented uh, pro properly. If you see a bank image, uh, let's say here in Ghana, you'd, you'd see like a black American looking guy, you know, and it doesn't speak to the locals. So we went and then proposed that we wanna shoot image banks for these brands so that they can uh, speak the, the language of the locals and the people that we represent on these adverts should look like the locals. And that way, we then started our own production house, which is, I see a different new, where we do advertising, photography, film, and uh, a lot of cool things. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, oh, we jumped a slide there, but it's fine. So, from, as Innocent said, it's like, what, what better way than to, you know, to show what you believe in through advertising, because advertising has the budget. If you want to, we decided to be disruptive through advertising by yeah. not working against it, but working with it. Because if you do a piece that speaks the positivity and encourages Africans to see themselves as amazing, as cool as Innocent says, <laughs> you know, advertising can push it further because they've got the budget. So this is just an example of, you know, a piece of work that we did with the client where we felt like really had an impact. TIA, you'll hear them say. Say Africa's a dark, dark continent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So dark. We agree. They say we're always shooting each other. Of course. They say kids are hungry here. We know. Yes. Starving. So hungry. They say we live in the bush. Uh oh. It's true. So true. So so true. We love a rose bush. Flowers. And that we look to the world for inspiration. <laughs> Africa, but not as they see it, rather as we know it. <laughs> <laughs>